Rebecca Jones Fuentes Perrain was an actress of Mexican descent. She was married to actor Alejandro Camacho for 25 years, with whom she shared credits in many telenovelas, including El Angel Kaido, Cuna de Lobos, Imperio de Cristal, Para Volver en Amar, and Cuiti Perdón Dios. They had a son named Maximiliano Camacho Jones together. Jones was the daughter of an American father and a Mexican mother. Guitarist Wayne Swinney, a founding member of the rock band Saliva, died on Wednesday at the age of 59 after suffering a brain hemorrhage the day before while on tour with the band. Swinney was the band's only current member who had been with them since their debut album in 1996. Salova had released 11 albums in the 27 years since, been nominated for a Hard Rock Grammy, and reached no. One on Billboard's alternative rock chart with its biggest song, Always, in 2002. Norman Steinberg was an American director, producer, and screenwriter. Steinberg was a lawyer before starting writing. He wrote several projects with former dentist Alan Uger before the pair were hired by Mel Brooks as writers on his 1974 film Blazing Saddles. He co-scripted for the 1984 film Johnny Dangerously along with Harry Columby, Jeff Harris, and Bernie Kukoff. Steinberg died in Hudson Valley, New York on March 15, 2023, at the age of 83. Gunter Nezoda was born in Vienna, Austria, spent 10 years in Frankfurt, Germany, and moved to Las Vegas in 1990. Pat Travers, Leslie West, Michael Stenker, George Lynch, Kevin Dubrow, and many others have collaborated with him on bass. Gunter Nezoda has also appeared in several films and on the A&E television show, Storage Wars. He is also an avid photographer. His photography has been used by clients such as Microsoft, Big O Tires, Ford, and many others, and has appeared in numerous magazines and advertisements. Gunter's portraits are known for their high impact and his ability to capture any expression on a client's face he desires and always clicks at the right moment. Australian actor Peter Hardy, known for such TV series as MacLeod's Daughters, as well as films and stage musicals, died from drowning during a snorkeling excursion at West Australia's South Beach in Fremantle on Thursday, March 16. He was 66. The actor was reportedly pulled from the water unconscious at 10.40 am local time on Thursday. Before paramedics arrived on the scene, Bystanders tried to revive him, but he could not be saved. Hardy's credits include drama-slash-romance series MacLeod's Daughters, in which he appeared in 44 episodes. Former Bulldogs, West's Magpies, and Illawarra Steelers cult hero Kyle White has tragically died in his sleep, aged just 53. The 89-game prop, who also had successful stints in the UK with Workington Town and Wins, was hugely popular with fans for his crunching hits in defense and playing well above his 177 centimeters, 94 kilograms weight in a brutal era. But sadly, the much-loved forward battled personal issues in retirement that eventually saw him homeless and had his brother, Josh, fearing for his sibling's life. Willis Reed Jr. was a professional basketball player, coach, and general manager from the United States. He played his entire professional career for the New York Knicks. Reed was inducted into the Naismith Memorial Basketball Hall of Fame in 1982. Reed was named the NBA's most valuable player for the 1969-70 season and the championship series MVP. He was named Rookie of the Year in 1965 
was an all-star seven times and won another NBA championship and finals MVP with the Knicks in 1973.